So I'd like to first take a moment uh, to start with land acknowledgements. Uh, it's important for us to acknowledge the traditional territories in which we live and work on as a part of our commitment to decolonization and the TRC calls to action. We acknowledge that the land we are meeting on, which happens to be Toronto, is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. Um, Toronto is also home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. And so we also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. So let's get started. Um, here's our agenda for today, as you can see. Um, I'll be providing a quick overview uh, on our organization um, and the EdTech Sandbox, and then we will jump into uh, the pilot program, what it's all about, and how to sign up. And then I'll conclude with an introduction to our community of practice space um, that will include a short demo of the platform. And finally, uh, we'll have the Q&A session, as I mentioned earlier. So about eCampus Ontario, uh, we are a nonprofit organization uh, funded by the province, um, and it heads a group of uh, publicly funded colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutions. And our overall aim is to, prov uh, to promote the use of educational technology and digital learning environments. So ultimately, our goal is to create and uh, support experimentation of online learning tools, um, particularly through the EdTech Sandbox, which we will be delving into a bit further today. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the EdTech Sandbox, um, it's a platform process and a safe space for technology experimentation. Uh, we support the post-secondary community uh, with educational technology discovery, piloting, uh, reviewing, and adoption. So essentially, we help institutions um, and educators with awareness of established um, and emerging technologies that support digital transformation and technology-enabled teaching and learning. So connecting this uh, back to our pilot program, we have established partnership with uh, educational technology companies um, to provide the Ontario post-secondary sector with access to tools and streamlined support. So through our four pillars, um, discover, pilot, review, and adopt, as you can see here, uh, we try to actively help uh, institutions with the implementation and adoption of technology. This is free, voluntary, and self-starting. So you have the opportunity to try new tools uh, for up to a semester in length. And for certain products, um, there is a limited number of spots. So it would be on a first come, first serve basis. Um, but nonetheless, we do have a growing list of tools um, that are available for piloting. And I will show you how to uh, discover those tools shortly. And finally, um, our support for adoption can mostly be found in our free uh, digital community of practice space that's available within the platform and available to all educators and learners um, that you can access through your with your institutional ID through single sign-on. We'll touch a bit more on this later um, in our session, and that will include a live demo. So now we've touched um, on that background information, I will walk you briefly through um, the EdTech Sandbox platform. And I believe my colleague will also share a link in the chat to the site if you would like to also open that up on your device. So this is the EdTech uh, Sandbox homepage. Um, this, within the Sandbox, uh, we host a uh, searchable repository of educational tech Technologies. So if you select the browse all option here, um, this will redirect you to um, that page in which, as we wait for it to load up here shortly, yeah, you'll be able to see all of the product pages that are available of uh, each EdTech type. EdTech that's available um, in the, through the EdTech Sandbox. So through the various filters here that you can use, um, you can discover tools um, based on your needs. Um, and I just wanted to highlight that uh, we also work with vendors on an ongoing basis um, to curate information and resources um, that will support um, pedagogical and technical implementation for you. Um, so just to explore some of these filters here, we have product categories you can see. Uh, we also have academic discipline. Um, learning method, 
uh, platform language here as well. And also want to highlight, um, we have an Ontario Extend filter, um, which is a professional development platform that eCampus Ontario supports. Um, so through this filter, you would be able to find uh, technologies that each module um, introduces. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, uh, my colleague will also share a link uh, in the chat to this platform for, uh, for you to explore that further if you'd like. Um, and so we have further filters such as accessibility and LMS integrations. Um, and we also have additional toggle filters here uh, for further filtering, um, particularly the pilot available filter, um, which finds and filters technologies that provides free uh, pilot opportunities. So uh, for today, I'll be exploring the accessible web tool. So let's select this page so we can see how that looks. Awesome. So this is the uh, accessible web page for this particular uh, product page. Um, here you can see um, the product uh, description, the features here as well as learner co uh, considerations, educator considerations, um, product specifications. Um, this might be important to you in your adoption journey. We also have cost. Um, I also want to highlight the resources tab here that could be very useful to you. Um, again, just additional resources related to uh, pedagogical and technical insights. Um, and we occasionally have um, case studies available for specific products, um, which you would also find hosted underneath this tab. We also have a review tab here um, in which you would be able to access uh, reviews from fellow uh, learners and educators who have experience with the tool and have provided their overall rating of the tool, um, their feedback and key benefits and areas for improvement um, that might be important for your consideration. So all reviews would appear under this tab in which you can explore and see um, if they may, may be relevant to your concerns. We also have here a starter video. Um, we also have some product screenshots here. Um, and I wanna highlight um, the some uh, buttons up here, um, including the request demo for the tool. If it's available, you would be able to access that through this option here. We also have the pilot tool um, option in which you can complete a simple interest form um, to sign up for up to a semester free access. And here is how uh, reviewers would submit their review of the tool um, in which we, in collaboration with the Experience Design Lab, occasionally provide uh, paid applied research opportunities if available for that tool. So you would access it through there. And finally, um, I want to highlight the uh, community of space uh, practice that I mentioned earlier. Um, this is a free resource available for all educators and learners. Um, and it was designed um, to be seated in every single product page um, to provide you with the option to explore further pedagogical and technical insights. Um, because we recognize that you know, the journey of adoption is beyond functionality and educators and learners might want to have a deeper understanding of the tool um, and what its impact is on teaching and learning. So we aim to connect um, fellow educators and learners with other community members um, to share their best practices and experiences. Um, and through this channel, we also work with vendors to support inquiries and expedite any concerns or considerations you might have regarding that specific tool. So I will be concluding the demo of the Sandbox platform here, but I will now uh, show you how to maximize this community of space resource. So we're also just gonna head on over to this page in which this is the community of practice space. And my colleague will share a link again uh, to this resource if you want to open it up on your own device. So you can click sign up now in which you would be able to create uh, an account with your institutional ID through single sign-on. Um, in this case, I'll just log in with my already existing account. And this would open up the home page in which you can see a variety of product pages here, um, which are all available within the EdTech Sandbox. So every product page um, coincides with a product that's available here as well in the community of practice space, as you can see. Um, I want to highlight that you can actually click, um, I'm already part of this page, so let's see, Crowdmark, yeah, you'd be able to select join here to sign up uh, for all updates and news uh, related to this product. Um, and I'll discuss ways you can maximize uh, each product page a little bit later, um, but I just want to highlight the Sandbox general page um, here, which is a centralized space uh, for all updates and news uh, related to the Experience Design Lab and Sandbox programs. So you're able to reach us here directly and share any concerns or uh, interests you might have in some of our programs. 
Um, so that would conclude the live tutorial of the community of practice space. So here's just some further ideas on uh, how you can engage with this space. So once you've joined any of the product pages, um, you'll receive those notifications and explore how others are using the space. Um, you can also share a quick introduction about yourself. Um, uniquely enough, the community brings together educators um, who, are, who are experts, um, beginners, and those who just want to learn more. Uh, so feel free to share your story there um, and what brings you to the space. You can also provide your feedback. Um, we really want to hear from you. So feel free to post your thoughts here and let us know if you have any questions. Um, you can also make inquiries about tools um, and our team will uh, do our best to provide you with those answers and connect you with knowledgeable product representatives. We also uh, have the virtual learning mentorship program that's available in the community of practice. Um, so you have the opportunity to earn badges. Um, and particularly, you can earn the EdTech Champion badge by becoming a virtual learning mentor. And the Virtual Learning Mentorship Program is a volunteer-based initiative that supports early technology adopters. So if you have experience with specific EdTech products um, and can provide that support to educators, you're eligible to become a virtual learning mentor and earn an EdTech Champion badge. So if that's something you might be interested, um, you can contact us at sandbox at ecampusontario.ca. So let's uh, connect all of those pieces together that we di uh, discussed and walk you through um, the educator process. So after um, exploring and discovering the EdTech product you want to pilot, um, educators and admins can access that interest form um, by visiting the pilot page on the EdTech Sandbox, um, which my colleague will share a link in the chat. Um, and then you click the pilot tool button, as I showed you earlier, um, to on the product pages. Um, which have available pilots. So you would just select pilot tool and you would complete that simple interest form um, for the desired, pro uh, desired product. Um, and it would ask you just simple questions like name and email information, um, the semester you'd like to pilot the tools, the number of students you want uh, to support throughout the pilots and how you wanna implement the tool in your class. It would also provide you with the terms of use and privacy policy of both the sandbox and technologies for you to review. And at that stage, um, the Sandbox team would securely transmit that data uh, of interested educators to the vendor um, on a basis of every two weeks. And upon that handover, um, we would ask the vendors to promptly contact the respective individuals um, to initiate that process of piloting their product. Finally, the vendors, educators, and eCampus Ontario uh, will collaborate closely together to establish and commence the pilot program and ensure a seamless experience for you. And throughout the pilot phase, um, educators will have the opportunity uh, to provide their valuable feedback, um, report any issues, and share your experiences um, in using the product page in the community of practice. We also um, survey program participants um, to collect data on product usage and experiences and share that an an anonymized data with vendors um, through the paid applied research opportunities I mentioned earlier. Um, and there are some scheduled um, quick, mid, and final reports every semester to assess the effectiveness of the pilot programs for learners, um, educators, and vendors. So the reports for learners and educators um, takes no more than 10 minutes um, to complete, and it would essentially provide a comprehensive overview of your experience in the program, about your participation, uh, feedback on the benefits of the program, um, and with regards to any suggestions for improvement you might have. And these reports really help us to understand the program's impact on educators' professional development and enhanced learner experiences all around. So just a quick checklist of, of what we discussed. Um, we have made some foundational changes to the program this year. Um, the advantage of this year's program is that you can engage at any time and request for a pilot whenever you come across an interesting technology, and we're gonna do our best to support you in your digital transformation journey. Um, there is no deadline for the pilot applications, um, and our goal ultimately is to provide you with direct support in your tool discovery journey through supported navigation, tool dis uh, through supported navigation, experimentation, and applied research opportunities like we discussed. Um, we strongly encourage you um, to make use of the community space, um, to stay in touch with your peers across the province, and stay up to date and informed on the latest educational technology developments and insights. 
So with that being said, we want to thank you for listening this far. Um, we appreciate your time and attention. Um, and with that being said, I would like to open the floor uh, to any questions and suggestions you might have. Um, I also have my colleagues here, Chris, Mo, and Ramaz, who might be able to cover some of the questions um, you might have. 